Okay, so I'm actually gonna rest here first, just so that shit doesn't happen again. I need to heal him up. Boink. Can't believe I died to that. Actually, what's my shield stability? Like, that would probably be a big factor of why. Only 60. Ooh. I wonder if I want to have... Because obviously I don't really have anything to spend my Twinkling Titanite on. Oh, that's what I wanted to look at. Damn it. I'll handle that some other time. Because I don't really need to worry about it now. But as far as I am aware... Not you. You. This has a... No? I think this has a holy component to it. Did I hear that right? Maybe it's the spear? No? I could have sworn I heard... Let me check this... I want to check this shit out right, real quick. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But I thought I had read somewhere that one of the... The, uh, the Silver Knight weapons had some sort of divine... Oh, okay. So it used to, but they patched it. So now it doesn't have... So that game, so the that weapon used to be partially divine, but I don't know if people complained about it or if they just, the developers decided it didn't make sense or what. So it removed the divine modifier. So that was one of the things I was thinking of, like that could be my divine weapon right there that I could use against uh, Nito and against the various... Skeletons and the catacombs and whatnot, but never mind. Huh? 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 <laughs> that was three attacks in a row where I really just don't know what happened. It was very strange. But yeah, so if that does not have a divine modifier to it anymore, then that ruins that plan, and there's no reason to use it. Because that was actually what I was... So, now that I know that, I wonder why I missed that. Because that was kind of the main aspect of the that Myrmidon build that I wanted. Well, not a main aspect, but that was kind of, you know, something that I thought was kind of a cool addition to the idea. Was that I would be able to use the Silver Knight Straight Sword against uh, Nito's stuff. Is it still coming? No, turn around, please. Turn around, please. So that was a discovery I had against these dudes. Was that, um... Turn around, you motherfucker. God, these things are the worst! The one that's in the undead... Berg? Undead Parish? Turn around! Show me your buttocks! Show the people your buttocks. It's not doing it. I'm gonna die first. Let me see if I can get around. Nope, nope, nope. So the one that's in the Undead Parish actually has a break in the plating. Which allows you to uh, backstab it. These don't have it. And I was always wondering, like, why the fuck can't I backstab these? This game is such bullshit! But then I noticed that and I was like, oh, that makes perfect sense! Kudos. That nice little nuance. I think that's just gonna rebound, yeah. Not so. God, this is so scary. Like, just the amount of damage these dudes are capable of outputting is frightening. Come on, dodge, man! Should be able to kill it right here. Good, good. Thankfully, these dudes don't respawn. And I think that one always has a 100% chance to drop the, uh, the Boar Fang Helm, whatever the hell it's called. Because I have certainly almost always gotten it from it. Oh, you know what I actually want to try? Fuck power within right now. I have no need of it. I want to try this against these dudes. It's an absolutely terrible idea. But I still want to try it. Oh, you know what I should be doing? I should be saving souls so I can buy Quilana's spells. Because I'm not sure, like I said, I'm not sure if it's a requirement to buy all of her spells for her to give you that bed of chaos. 
Wow. Fuck that. That was not impressive. For some reason, I was. Oh, wow. I'm, I almost died. Now I'm. Oh, I'm not dead. I'm not dead. Everything's fine. Everything's not fine. Fuckers. I, these dudes are just a huge pain in the ass. Like, they're just. They're resistant to everything. But yeah, that fuss. Fuck fire surge. That was not. I thought. I mean, you know. These dudes are crystal. Like, surely it's fire, right? Like, that might do something. Melt them down a little bit? Nope. You're a dumbass, aren't you? Yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> There's no denying it. But yeah, these these enemies, I, just, I really... I could sit here for 17 hours. I can sit here for longer than it takes me to actually beat this game. And rant about the final four sections of areas you have to go through to get the necessary souls to open up the kiln of the first flame. And it sucks too, because the kiln of the first flame is like this really beautiful area that's just like it's perfectly representative of uh, like what it is. And I really can't praise that area enough for just being like super simplistic and yet having what the fuck? Having such a great, just kind of, aura about it. And yet, every single area leading up to it is like one of the worst experiences you will ever have to endure in your lifetime in order to actually get there. This one's not atrociously bad, like it's pretty annoying, but it's not like, yo, I'm about to snap this disc in half. I'm about to get snapped in half, though. That's for fucking sure. Let me get to a place with more maneuvering room. Okay. Okay. Let me actually try and shoot these motherfuckers. Let's see what that kind of does. Wow, that did fucking nothing, and I ate all that damage from my troubles. Please die. Yay. Shit, was that one shot? Too far away to know. This is not worth it. It is absolutely not worth not walking around with my shield up to see whether or not I one-shot them. Because I know I one-shot them from the backstabs. I am also going to kill the living hell out of this guy, but I gotta worry about whether or not there are any more crystal dudes. Let me just wander out there real quick. Did I draw anybody? Everybody's, everybody's... I just actually tried to move... You can't see it, obviously. But I just tried to move my head around as a person might do. Word? Word. That's what I get. That's what I get for just needing to kill the shit out of this guy. I take half my health from a fucking arrow. I hate this place. <laughs> Fuck. And the worst thing too is like, you died. Oh, congratulations, you died. Now you get to sit here and wait for this fucking elevator for five minutes. Hate everything. But yeah, it's just this area, Crystal Caves... Catacombs are okay. It's kind of annoying to deal with the respawning enemies, but it's unique, so I can't really knock it. But the Tomb of Giants is atrocious. Terrible place. Uh, New Londo Ruins. That's easily the best out of the four options, out of the four places you have to go. If I had to pick one of them, if it was like, you know, okay, we're going to make it so you have to go through one of these, at least one, but you can bypass the rest... I would pick the new... You motherfucker. I would pick the new Londo Ruins 100% of the time. Why did I not block that? Are you fucking serious, dude? I mean, it wasn't that much souls, but it sucks to lose six humanity like that. Or did I have five? Whatever. <sighs> ah. I just... I mean, this is kind of how the experience is once you get this far. It's just, I don't want to be here. I don't want to be doing this. I got this bullshit Lost Isolith and the Tomb of Giants to look forward to. I mean, it really is just... I cannot knock it enough. Like, how excellent the entire game is right up to this point. And it's like, hey... Let's toss you to the most frustrating places imaginable. 
Yeah! There's no point in getting that shit now. How is that not a fucking backstab? How did you not hit both of them? Jesus Christ, I'm actually going to die again. I am actually going to die again. <gasps> Ooh, Nate's getting mad. Fucking damn it. <laughs> well done. Come on, hurry up and get down here so I can backstab your ass before the aggressive ones come here. How was that not a backstab? I hate everything. How did that not hit? Wow. <laughs> that hurt. That might explain it then. I wonder if the archer was still buffed. If the archer was still buffed, that would definitely explain the amount of damage I took. Why do I keep picking things up? They're not going to drop anything new. There still should be one more. There it is. Alright, I'm going to kill him again. Like, I'm, I'm not going to stand for what occurred right there. I'm going to be smarter about it, though. that dude still casting <laughs> like he hasn't even seen me for like two minutes and this dude is still tossing spells out I think it would actually be faster oh shit Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, that's perfect. That's a perfect opportunity. Ooh, and I actually got the challenge trident. That's a very rare drop. Oh shit. I don't know why I'm doing this. It's kind of just spite at this point, really. <laughs> Fuck everything in this area! I'm just gonna get the drops, so like, next time... Next time I can just come through here. Like, gone. Just immediately. Run through here, grab sh just run up the elevator, and I'm done. I don't have to deal with any of this shit. So after that, I'll after this, I'll grab the DLC item that is necessary to continue on there. And then we'll head over there. How did that miss? What? Why am I still picking this shit up? I'm just gonna take up space in my inventory. Oh, that one shots them. Okay, I'm gonna need to remember that. Yay, I think I actually hit that with bleed. That extra little damage at the end right there. <laughs> Part of me is just like, should I just finish this fucking area like right now so I can just get it out of the way? I think I might, actually. I really think I might. I think I'm gonna do that. Just to get just to get it out of the way. Just so I can not come back here and have to deal. Because you can't actually teleport. Uh, to that bond. Well, actually, it's not there. It would make sense if it was there, but no, it's gotta go down the fucking elevator first. Um, but, yeah, you can't teleport to that one, so if I wanted to come back here... So at the very least, I can get to the, uh, I can clear out the Duke's archives and, like, not do the Crystal Cave yet. But I can at least clear out the Duke's archives. And finish everything to do with this area. And just be done with it. Just be done with it. Because I don't want to continue dealing. I... 
I think it's intelligent of me to split it up. So that, like, I do this area real quick. And, um... I don't know. I don't really know exactly. Like, I wasn't planning. What the fuck? Where was my attack? Where was my block? <gasps> this is going excellently already. Oh, we killed him. Never mind. It actually was going excellently. How'd he drop something? Doesn't drop anything? Boring ass dude. Let me see if I can actually hit this guy. Always have problems. Nailed it. I guess I have problems. Ooh, green type head shard. Thank you. I guess I always have problems until, uh... Doesn't really matter which one. Where are you? Sacrifice. I want to use the rare one. Because it is possible for me to get cursed. Let me actually just... Let me speed this along a little bit. Add a little bit of extra health drain in there. So for you, those of you that may not be aware, you have to die to this dude. There, There's no... There's nothing you can do. I'm not actually positive whether or not you can actually damage him. The worst part about this, you see... Oh, actually, it started going back down. But it really actually sucks in this fight, like, if you don't have that rare ring of revival, uh, which prevents curse if you get cursed, and that's, like, the main thing you want to do in this, because it is terrible to get cursed from this guy because of what you have to do afterwards. Or you can't warp from this bonfire. It's impossible to warp. So it really sucks if you do uh, end up getting cursed. But it sucks because after you die, if you die in a place where uh, there's still curse buildup, the curse will continue to build up. Like, there's nothing you can do about it. The curse will just keep going up. And if the animation for your death lasts long enough, you can get cursed after you die. And that sucks. 